Hello, what's up YouTube? In this very short tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily export your images and those have been having issues about how to save the image the best way and how to export sharp images and those who have been asking why their images tend to change in color after I have been able to save them. This is a simple tutorial for you and hope you follow along and the image you're going to be using was taken by GMAX Studios and I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out. He also creates content about uh, Photoshop and also photography in general. So check in the description for his and this may be his uh, YouTube channel. So in this tutorial I'll show you the best way you can export your images so that you can have very sharp images and also images that are not good to change in color when you're going to save them or after posting them on social media. So this is a very simple tutorial. So you can see right now, I already did the retouching on this image. So you can see before and after, before, after. And I have a tutorial about all that for beginners and those people who are always complaining about how my tutorials are really long, yet you don't put in any effort on this end. Also, I should put that into light. You're not going to tell me what to do because there are people who are willing to learn everything from the very start. That's why I tend to do long and short tutorials. So if at all you feel like I'm wasting your time, you could visit another channel that is going to help you save time and you tend to not waste time on free content that they create for you. But if at all you're not sponsoring videos on this channel, don't give me rules about the type of content I should create. So enough of the ranting. So in order to save the content or in order to save your photos, the best way just come here to file and come to export and come right here to export as so when you come to export as you can see it is going to create for us another window right here and i hope you can see this window so usually you're not going to be having these two options checked so when it comes to this option just come right now and you can see when you uncheck these two options you can see the difference so your color change always comes from this option convert srgb so when you turn it off you can see the image instantly changes in color and also gets rid of the colors you may have applied when you're color grading your image so usually that tends to come when you don't embed the colors in the srgb remember photoshop usually supports rgb or colors in the RG, rgb space so let me just start from the top. Just come and make sure you're exporting it as a PNG. And the quality, of course, you need 100%. Image size, I usually don't tamper with this. And I leave the scale at 100. So since I want the image to be a little bit sharper when, you're, when I am really exporting them. And I need that extra sharpening for social media. And maybe people are going to be printing out this photo. I come and change the sampling. Usually it is going to be in automatic. So I come and change the sampling size from by cubic automatic to by cubic sharper. So this tends to add some slight bit of sharpening without any halos. Remember, when we tend to sharpen images, sometimes they tend to create that kind of fringing on the edges. So this just creates just a subtle sharpening to the photo. So as you, the canvas size, I don't tamper with the canvas size. Then you can add some metadata if at all your image has that metadata embedded in it so you can add that so the major emphasis for this tutorial is in the color space so usually when you're doing the color grading on the images the color space always matters remember photoshop supports rgb so when you convert srgb and also embed the color profile it means that photoshop is going to embed every single color that you applied in the image during the color grading and the image your camera tried to capture so just come and hit export and when you come to export you can rename your image to whatever you want so this doesn't matter at all so you can rename it whatever you want and hit save and it's going to save your image in that folder or that destination in which you want to save a photo so or alternatively you can save your images if at all that is a lengthy process so just come this is the second step or method in which you can save your photos the best way possible just come here to file and you come back to export then you come to save for web legacy and 
and I say for web leaguers, we're going to be having the same options that we had in the previous uh, technique or the previous method. So just going to zoom out just like that so that you can have the image. So you can see we have the same settings. We have JPEG, of course, quality 100%. Make sure you also embed the color profile. So you leave this under optimized and also embed color profile right here and also convert to srgb and after doing that come and change the quality to by cubic sharper right here i hope you can see this and leave the image size the way it is meant to be or don't tamper with it because i tend not to tamper with that and right here we also have metadata you can as well include the metadata so basically after doing all that just come and hit save so don't click on done just come to save and right now you can save uh, your photo in whatever location you want and you can choose so basically that is how you can save the image the best way possible so that it doesn't change in color after i've been able to save it or after i've been able to export it or post it on social media so basically this is all for today's story i'm sorry about the ranting if at all i handled that inappropriately but if at all you have found this really helpful don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all, you love the content I keep on creating for you guys. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet another tutorial. And don't forget to keep safe and keep creating.